I just tell this story? Oh no. You know the times. Well, I, I, I don't. You know, it don't bother me really. But what? Of course it no, the, you. the times when you want the when you, the, what's the saying dying inside and I really yeah, thought I wasn't, Alan. right no you thought thank God I didn't do it that's what you thought let me tell you a story so over at Christmas period uh, we went to my sister's house middle of nowhere near Peak District what do you mean middle of nowhere my sister's house is middle of nowhere and it's we were, on the edge of Sheffield yeah. it's a beautiful house and they were my, my sister and her partner my mum and dad. Uh, my sister's partner's dad, kids were there. Big family get together having a brilliant time, and they've got a bit of a games room thing going on where they're proudly displaying their brand new 75 inch Plasma top screen. of the room. <laughs> anyway, you know what's going to happen because you've seen thumbnail. So, we were having a family tournament of this. It's not the Wii, it's like a was it a Nintendo Switch? Switch. Plugged it into it's the like the Wii, but it's the updated version, and you can do Wii Sports on it. James, what sports can you play? I don't know, but you completely change your subject. I'm not. Well, when you're but telling you, the story... No, no, the story is that you lot, you were having a fabulous time the day before, weren't you, on Christmas Day, and you oh, were yeah, all playing we had a bowling family tournament. and tennis and badminton. What were you doing with your hand there, Becky? I don't know. Who's winning? Me, obviously. And then I came round on Boxing Day and I thought, oh, I'd love to have a try. Who's telling the story? You. Yeah. I'm just in interjecting. I've, I've built it up in my head. I've got it all right, already. go on, carry on. No, I'm only kidding. So, well, we, we were having a family tournament, weren't we? Yeah, and, and you were telling me how wonderful it was. Yeah, and we all know... We joke about how competitive Helen is. She's got to win. She's always got to beat you me. You are competitive. Well, we're both competitive. But I have so to win at all costs. It, we got through a few rounds and it was getting close to the final and everything. And it was badminton with little rackets. And it, it ended up, it, the draw was James v Helen. I mean, talk about grudge match. Anyway. I was winning. Oh, you were, she was getting carried away. And but then. She got a bit too carried away. I lost. <laughs> She lost through elimination by smashing the TV with a racket. Yeah, it's ruined. <laughs> Do you feel bad? Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Oh In front God. of all family sat around and it was like... Becky and Mark... <laughs> <laughs> and, and Edward, I'm so sorry. Do you know, like, one of those situations where you just want to run away? Oh, bless you, I felt for it. It was one of them where everyone just stood there like... Oh. This was one of them. Do you know when you've, like, done it and then you think, oh, God, I wish I could turn back time. So that's going to cost us a bloody fortune. And then, of course, our Becky's partner, Mark, he's, he's a right wind-up. He's like, oh, me... Brand new, two thousand pound to <laughs> stuff like that. It's not, but we, we've said. Uh, well, I said I, I'm gonna have to do a few extra shifts. <laughs> You're gonna be on OnlyFans. On the bank, <laughs> I'm gonna have to set up an OnlyFans page or so account. So that will be twenty quid towards it, won't it? <laughs> so, we're gonna see if they can claim on insurance. We're not giving money away, are we? <laughs> <laughs> I've said. You know, obviously there'll be an excess, <laughs> so we'll pay that. But if they can't yeah, pay on insurance, we'll just, we'll just have to buy them a new tally. I know. So that's a good start to 2024, isn't it? But we're not going to dwell on it because it's only a we're thing. Not. It's a funny story. It's their thing, and I'm so sorry, but yeah, well, you've nobody... No, right, if I'd have injured somebody, that would have been worse. Yeah, well, it don't matter, it's sorted. It's a funny story. It's not. It's no big hit. It's going to get sorted, isn't it? So, yeah, just thought we'd tell you that. We're going for a just, a, we're going to have a wander up Ecclesaw Road because we're a bit early. We've got a table booked in Uncle Sam's. Don't even know if you need to book a table. A bit early? You were having a go at me saying that we were late. Yeah, because I have to do that with you because I have to tell her that we're setting off <laughs> sort of like an hour earlier. That So if I want Helen to be ready for, say, two o'clock, I said, we need to be ready at one o'clock, then I know that she'll be ready at two. <laughs> so I did, I did that today and she still weren't ready. <laughs> 
We weren't just an hour late, we're like an hour and a half. I mean, hour at her house right. anyway, because I stayed you last night. You were sat watching YouTube. I was just I sat got watching stuff YouTube. to do. I had to load the dishwasher, get me washing out the washing machine so it didn't go fusty. Yeah. Right. Let's just check if we're all right in this car, but there's no... They can't there's a sign there as you come in, but I mean, what side? It's bank person? holiday, New Year's Day, nobody's going to be working. No. Right, anyway, let's go for a walk up Ecclesall Road and we'll tell you about what we've got planned for 2024. What's in store for 2024? Oh. I've been practising that. <laughs> Are you ready, darling? Yeah, I'm just... Uh, I've got cat hairs all over me. Hey, can you see that light really scratch on my face from my stupid cat? Helen's been scratched by a cat this morning, haven't you? Yes! It's evil. One, Helen's... Do you know what? It only ever gets wound up when you're there. Helen's got two cats. One's amazing and one's a right <laughs> git. It really is. And it hates me, so... <laughs> and you were watching YouTube this morning and he just went and sat right in front of TV. Yeah. It knows, doesn't it? It does, it does. It hates me with a passion. <laughs> But then it, it, it scratched you. Yeah, because he... Because it was wound up. Why, why is he here? Exactly. You bitch. <laughs> Language. Bitch? Yeah. It's a male, female dog. We haven't been here for ages. Look at that, it's boarded up. That's been a few things. It's been Cafe Rouge, Red's True Barbecue. This was quite an upmarket area, Hecklesall Road. If you know Sheffield, you'll know it. But it's I just think it it's, probably still is. It probably is further down, I don't know. But it's looking a little bit you know dilapidated. Crap. <laughs> Look at that, it's just a bit It's That's... gone right down though. Oh, yeah, right. Look, snuff mill the home of football and KFC. That KFC <laughs> does smell good. Right, look at that. I, when you realise, yeah, yeah. I can't not see you, his little legs. It's just like a big head and a little body, isn't it? <laughs> Lo, he's like doing a little jig. Yeah. Once I, every time I see it, I see that. You can't. You can't unsee. Oh, we're going up to Botanical Gardens. See, that's a cracking spot for a bar, isn't it? Yeah. It is. I think we should open one. Yeah. So not, not be able to. It don't say, but it needs renovating. That one reminds me of Rising Damp for some reason. <laughs> Rigsby. I mean, it's not like it, but <laughs> just the vibe. It's those uh, grey windows. I should learn to not stop by signs with notice boat boards and things like that. No, you're doing it I on purpose. Like you're doing it on purpose. Uh, Victorian Garden, Birch Hill, West Lawn, East Lawn, Rock and Water Garden. She's doing it on purpose to wind me up now because I, I moan about her reading everything. So she's doing it on purpose. We read it all. See that face on that tree there, look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, we need to take a picture of that and upload it to that Facebook page. They've been done on purpose, haven't they? Yes, of course they have. I didn't know that. <laughs> Come here, squirrel. Hello. Hello. 
okay. Oh, I don't have anything for you. I'm so sorry. Oh. Come on. Gosh, that is tame, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. We need to get some notes and come back. Do we? Yeah. It's getting dark already. It's like half two. Is it? Days are supposed to be getting longer are now. Are you scared of the dark? Because you only No, it's, cause my, about it. it's because my camera's crapping dark, that's why. Mm -hmm. So I want to get all footage done. Yeah. I'll come back later. I'll come back with some nuts. Is it time to go for his dinner yet? Yes, hey? it is. Honestly. Seriously, that place is full of people with stupid moustaches and the flat caps on what they've got for Christmas. Because that's what people do on New Year's Day, they all put the flat caps on and style the tash. What, with, with tash wax? And go to the pub for the craft beers. Now, you like a I do, I love a craft beer, but we've got to admit it's gone a bit too far now. You know, you just get a stupid name, like Alien Mango Piss. And put a put a fancy picture on it. Eighteen pound a can. Yeah, what was that beer in the Rutland Arms that cost twenty? Twenty one pound. Twenty twenty one pound a pint. Twenty one pound. And it's sold out. But that's just people what? that are drunk that are getting it, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. But you you're curious to see what it tastes like. So you could, if there were four of you, like share a pint. Yeah, that's what they were doing. I think it was just to taste it. So anybody who knows Sheffield will remember the place that used to be here, which was my favourite restaurant and it was called Yankees and I thought that was better than the place that we're going to now. But obviously it didn't do that well because it shut down. It was there for years, we used to go as a kid. Helen's found the only shop that's open and she's going to have to go in. I was just saying that we're going to the, uh, for food early because everything's shut. You're not going to get across here. No. Right, run, leg it. I'll wait out here for you. Oh, it's closed. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Aww. Oh, dear. The only shop she thought were open is actually I closed. I wanted to buy Mira a little present. Oh, well. Do you know, like, a, a New Year present? Yeah, it's a few days after Christmas. It's a cheering up. I need cheering up. <laughs> it's all a little bit depressing on here. It is. I'm not impressed with 2024 yet. Are you? Well, do you know what? It's got potential. It's got potential, I so. hope so. We'll talk about that in a bit about what we've got planned for 2024. Yeah. I'm sure you're going to be all interested in that. Yeah. Anyway, not be. Oh. we're a bit early. But I thought it might be rammed in this place, so I booked a table and there's nobody about, so that's why she, she seemed a little bit, when I phoned up, she seemed a little bit surprised. Like, what, you want to book a table? Yeah, all right then. Let's so, we are going to the famous Uncle Sam's. It don't even look open. Not lights on. Lights are on, but nobody's home. <laughs> Oh, they still got the train thing going around. I remember that from before. Yes, I love a large wine because the more you drink, the more you say. Cheers. Cheers. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. What you got there, Helen? Tex Mex burger. A Tex Mex. Tex Mex burger. Look at mine, it looks a bit, doesn't it? Hawaiian burger. I bet it tastes nice. It's not, I'm it's like, not toast. the best bread cake, that they don't is it. Toast the I know. The ought to do, didn't they? Do you want to swap? Where do you so, want to? I'd like to know what people's, just the, I'd like to know what people's favourite relish is, the sweet corn one or the tomato one. I like to mix it up, I like them both. Right, so we're going to do half and half, like we always do. Because that's how sad we are. <laughs> I've already cut mine in half. Yes. So the burgers, wonderful. Mm -hmm. The cheese sauce, wonderful. Just the bread cakes. Bones. Hey? 
The bones are not crazy. I know. Crazy. crazy. Right, they call themselves Sam's. So you imagine that it's going to be sort of like authentic-ish American. She's having a bit of a ram. it's not. I think... Where's the pickle? Where's the mustard? All right. Right, the bun was not toasted and it wasn't dressed properly. It, it was 31 quid, that, for well, I know, two yeah, drinks. Like no, I'm not saying, I'm not defending. I know, but I agree for, me, with you. for me, if I was going to go back for like an iceberg over there... No, I, I won't go again. The thing is, the... The burgers are lovely. The meat they use is really yeah, nice. Yeah, you know what? The burger tasted as though it was like flame grilled. Yeah. And that cheese sauce. The cheese sauce is brilliant. It's like a secret recipe. Brilliant. It was good. But the bread was shockingly bad. It was. So what happened is when she asked if everything was okay, Helen said, can I just ask? Because the people on the table next to us, they had their, their buns were oh, toasted. Inside. Their buns were toasted. Yeah. But ours weren't. And it turned out it were a different chef. Chef. Change over of chef. But she didn't seem bothered, she just said, oh, it's yeah. different chef. And do you know what? She didn't even apologise. No. So that made my burger taste not as good as it could have been. But, you know, it's just a small thing, isn't it? We're not yeah, going to... but, right, like I've just said to James, do you know what makes a business great and better than good great is the attention to the small details. And do you know what? It would not take much effort to toast all the buns no it won't but they've been there 52 years and it well, was it busy so they're doing something yeah, right they still, yeah they are doing something right but they could do it better yeah. and i'm not gonna go there anymore or again well i'll take my other girlfriend then you do <laughs> and that is overpriced for what it is it's chicken oh. and chips with some sauce on i'm not a nando's fan i'll go to nando's but i think it's, it's very Nando's is overrated. It's overpriced as well. Overpriced and overrated. God, look at us slagging it all off. We're in that sort of mood today, we aren't are. we? Well, we're not. We, we don't slag places off. No. But we were just discussing off camera then about uh, um, Uncle Sam's. What she said to us when we said oh, it weren't toasted bun, it were a bit like made it soggy. Look at that, another empty well, place. Well, we didn't say that, but it does. But when we said that, I said, can I give you some feedback? I think, I think she you, was you got you got a backup saying that. I did. I touched the nerve. <clears throat> but you, you've got to listen to customer feedback. Yeah. No, I, I can understand. I can understand people getting the backs up where you say stuff sometimes. If I was rude, no, but I wasn't rude. <laughs> no, you were polite, but she asked me if everything was okay, but it wasn't. Well, there's none is here. Like. But it wasn't okay. We recommend this place. This is. Uh, Yes, none is. This is our friend's bar. Yes. Restaurant, we hope we shut. Oh, that's because he's got the day off. It's because he's on holiday. No, he's not <laughs> you know, I thought you were on holiday. Well, we'll be, we'll be filming something from there, hopefully, at some point. <laughs> and we'll be, hopefully go in no, kitchens. Maurizio and... wants to cook by the curb. It does, yeah. <laughs> and that would be amazing. So, thinking back to it, when we said oh, as buns weren't toasted, she says, oh, you should have requested it. But you don't think of that, do you, in a restaurant? You don't well, think no. a burger bar, right, you don't do you think to request. An American burger? <laughs> no. The bun is always toasted. It is, you don't have to request it. No. Another but empty property. The, right, no apology. No, none at all. Where's well, Porterbrook, is it? Oh, it's here, look. It was as though it was our home. Well, you should have requested it. <laughs> Well, I didn't, because I bloody thought it would. Right, do you know when it came, we should have said, look, it's not toasted, send it back. Wouldn't yeah, that have been better? Possibly. Anyway. Anyway, we won't be going there again. We're going Sorry. At, we're going at Porterbrook. Oh, it's a Green King, I didn't know that. I oh. mean, it was perfectly okay, <laughs> but it wasn't at all. Oh. Are we going on? Yeah, I've not been in here for years. I have. She's in every week. <laughs> I'm not. I don't go out. So what's in store for 2024? Well, we do have a lot of fun things 
planned for this year, but we've got one major thing just to get out of here really, get it over and done with. Because it's a special, there's a special day next week. What's that, Helen? Well, in the past 12 months, I've actually made it around the sun once again. And it's my birthday. <laughs> So it's Helen's birthday next week. And I said, what do you want for your birthday? And what did you say, Helen? I would like to go on holiday. And I want to go somewhere with the sun and warmth. Which in January is quite difficult. And I am a little bit skint because of Christmas and everything. So basically we're going on the cheapest holiday ever in the cheapest hotel that we could find. But it is what it is, isn't it, darling? We might have to survive off complimentary peanuts for a week. <laughs> B.I. Peanuts, you have saved us from going hungry. Yes. Are you excited about going on there? Oh my gosh, yeah. So, what, what? Well, not so where we're going yet, it's a surprise, but you can probably guess. Do you know, it doesn't matter where we go, as long as we're together. And we're just going to do lots of the same stuff that we've done this year. Just travel to all places around the UK and take you guys with us. Yeah. And... Oh, Shannon, I want to do my New Year's resolutions. Eat more, drink more. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, so hope you all have a... A lovely new year. We're going to get back to normal now, hopefully, with the back vlogs. To normal. Back to two vlogs a week, hopefully. You've never been normal. Oh, well, I know. So, thank you for watching this video. I know it's a bit of a. It was a bit of a mishmash. Well, most of our videos are. But thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, which will probably be Sunday night. What were Helly Bobs? Thank you, friends. Oh. Oh, can I just say hello to Alison and Sean? I met Alison in Boundary Mills before Christmas. Hi! <laughs> They'll not see that, they'll have turned off a long time ago. <laughs> Nobody gets to end of these vlogs. Anyway, uh, see you all in the next one. On. So, this is the reason why you need to tune in till the end. Yeah, we'll have to start announcing really important things at the end. People will just skip through them. Do, 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 boo. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm about to say something you talk. Anyway, we'll see there. See We said we were going to be professional this year. What? But then everyone says, don't be professional. What? Who would read to that? I never said that. No. You're just going to be even more... I'm just going to be me. You're just going to be even more Look, mental. you do professional and you. I'm not doing I'm professional. I'm just going to do me. All right, sit there. Sit there.